Hey grade sevens, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making an ice box for the ice box challenge because I got really jealous that you got to do it and not me, so I decided to make one too. So let's let get going and see how it went. So first I'm gonna need some materials. So I got my Cheerios, my aluminum foil, my plastic bag, some yarn, some scissors, don't throw scissors, and some tape. First thing, first I'm going to take the Cheerios box and cut it to kind of make like a base for my ice box. Now that I have that, I'm going to take my plastic bag and I'm using the plastic bag partly because plastic is a good insulator of heat as well to prevent the cardboard from getting all mushy and wet once the ice cube inevitably melts. Next I've got the aluminum foil here. I decided I'm going to kind of make like walls around the ice box and use the aluminum foil one as an insulator and two as a reflective device to kind of prevent the radiant energy from getting through. Here I am using tape. I use a lot of tape. And I'm measuring out and notice that I'm not making it super flush to the sides. I am keeping some space around the sides of the ice box and you'll see why. Next I am making a base for the ice box to kind of keep it level on the ground. Again I'm going to wrap this in aluminum foil too to help with the, the insulation and the reflectiveness. Look at how nice it sits. All right, now I've got that around. Perfect, fits like a glove with a little extra space. So not really like a glove, like an oversized glove. I'm gonna tape those sides down to the base so kinda it all stays together. Again, using a lot of tape. And now I'm fitting it in. Ooh, look at how nice that looks. But we're not done yet. So now I am putting in some yarn from a sweater that I started in quarantine but never actually finished. So I'm using that to kind of add an extra layer of insulation as well because through my research, wool is a good insulator of heat. So I had to do a lot of unraveling, a lot of unraveling, a lot of stuffing. So let's just skip some parts. So now that I've got both sides with some nice stuffing of yarn, get in the front and back a little bit to make sure that all fits nicely in. I'm done with the yarn. I also like how I've totally moved from the center to the side so you can like only see half of what I'm doing. Love that. Now I'm gonna create a lid because of course once I put the ice cube in, I need something on top to prevent that heat from getting in also. So I'm gonna do essentially what I did on the bottom. I'm gonna take my Cheerios box and I'm gonna wrap it in aluminum foil. Use more tape. Making it fit a little bit more here. What I decided I'm actually gonna do is tape the sides up to really keep that yarn, that wool in a lot better, a lot tighter, possibly. Because before I was thinking I would just kind of leave it out and flow, but I think closing it up is gonna make it last a little longer too, and maybe help with the insulation, I don't know. And now what I'm doing is I'm folding the sides of my lid so that it kind of fits around the sides and also prevents or minimizes the amount of holes or space between the lid and the rest of the box when I put it on. And now more tape for some reason. I really like tape. Put the lid on. Again, we're very off-centered, but you get the idea. And voila! Here I have some blue ice cubes. I'm using blue ice cube just so I can better visualize the, uh, the melting. So after 30 minutes I came back, oh look at that, it's still almost a little bit of water, but it's still pretty intact, not bad. 
After 60 minutes, one hour. Okay, we got a bit more water. But it's still- it's, pff, there's still a lot there. I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. It's looking good. After 90 minutes. Definitely more melting, but there's still quite a bit of ice there. Like, it's still quite a large amount. I think. After 120 minutes, after two whole hours, it's almost there. There's still a little bit of solid. And after 180 minutes, after three hours, because I had lunch, so I didn't have time to check the extra half an hour. After three hours, it was completely melted. So between two hours and three hours, my ice cube melted, which I think is pretty impressive. I hope you have as much fun making yours as I had fun making mine.